Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinone is here and today we are going to be removing the Whitestone Dome Tempered Glass Screen Protector from the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. It is about time to get this one replaced. I have had it on here for quite some time and I already have a full installation video on how to install this screen protector on your Galaxy S23 Ultra, which I will have linked down in the description below in case you do need to follow those instructions. This video is specifically on just how to remove this screen protector from your Galaxy S23 Ultra. And as you can see, I already have my replacement one here. I am ready to replace the one I have on here. I have had it on here for quite some time. I can't even remember when I did that installation video because that is how long the screen protector has been on this device. It's already got some cracks on it. It's been dinged up here on the side and up at the top. It has done its job at protecting my display. It is time to finally replace it. But before we get started on the removal of the screen protector right here, I gotta take a quick moment to give a big thanks and shout out to the sponsors of this video, Ugreen. Here we have Ugreen's new Nexode 65 watt fast charger and the Nexode 30 watt fast charger. And these are Ugreen's first robot fast chargers with GAN technology that brings eco-friendly charging, providing 95% energy conversion efficiency to reduce heat generation during a charge. Now, not only do these chargers have a cool robot look to them, but a cute look as well. In the front is located a mini smart screen that displays charging status with different cute emojis to let you know if the charger is on standby, if your device is charging, and if your device is actually fully charged. The 30 watt charger provides one USB-C port, while the 65 watt fast charger provides two USB-C ports and one USB-A port. And the three ports can charge all of your devices simultaneously. And not only that, but the 65 watt fast charger can also charge your smartphone device to around 50% in just 30 minutes. So if you're looking for those faster charging speeds, definitely go with the 65 watt over the 30 watt. It can also charge the latest MacBook Air to around 70% in just an hour. Ugreen is having some great Black Friday deals on these chargers, so make sure to check them out using the links provided in the description below. Again, big thanks to Ugreen for sponsoring today's video. All right, so let's go ahead and get this removal process started. Now, I do recommend turning your device off so you don't risk your you know, display just turning on while you are doing this. And I also recommend having either a blow dryer on you or a heat gun. This is just going to make the process smoother and a bit more easier than if you were to do this dry, just simply trying to peel this off of the display. So you definitely want to heat this up before you do so. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. That's what I'm going to do with the blow dryer I have here to my left. Now, if your screen protector is cracked like mine is here, I'll be honest, the process is a little bit more difficult because you might find it starting to break more as you're peeling it off of your uh, device here. That's why I do recommend heating it up a bit, but I kind of do it a certain way. While I'm lifting it up, I'm kind of pulling out as I'm lifting up. That way I don't just pull straight up and snap it even more. So let's go ahead and get this started without any more rambling. Got to make sure this is on hot and I will do it on low. Let's go ahead and get this started. Just gonna go around the screen protector, get it nice and heated up. Now, in order to actually lift it up, to start lifting it up, I mean, you can use a thin card if you want, something like that. I kinda just use my nail. I mean, if your nail is long enough just to get under there to get it started, I mean, you'll be more than fine with that. Now, you don't wanna heat it up too, too much to where you're gonna damage your display. I mean, you're just gonna kinda, you're gonna kinda have to go by feel, just kinda feel around, make sure it's nice and warm, and heat it up. Go ahead and go over just a little bit more here. And they usually come off pretty clean. I mean, if they're not cracked, they'll come off really clean with no problem, but like I said, mine does have a few cracks on it. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm doing this live right here in front of the camera. All right, so that, feels like it should be hot enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up here at the top right. I'm just gonna throw my nail under there. All right, and there you go. As you can see, it is starting to come off. There we go. Look at how easy it's coming off because I heated it up. Boom, as easy as that. And look at the screen protector itself. You can see where I do have this long crack right here. I also have a crack up here at the top and I was actually expecting this to start cracking down as I pulled up. But look at this, it's still nice and flexible because of the heat. 
And as you can see, this the, using a blow dryer, I mean, it definitely makes the process easier. And look at this, I don't have to wipe it down or anything. I mean, the display is clean. It's still nice and smooth. There's no leftover adhesive. I mean, if you want, you can get a nice, a little wet cloth and kind of wipe it down if you want, but it comes off nice and clean, no problems at all. And I mean, the process is as easy as that. I mean, look at how quick that was. So again, I definitely recommend using a blow dryer or even a heat gun to heat it up a bit to get the screen protector nice and heated up and get that glue softened up to where it just peels off nice and easy. So if you did like this video and if you did find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you have any comments, maybe any questions, just drop them down in the comment sections below. I would do my best to answer your questions if you do find yourself interested in this screen protector right here. Like I said, I'll have my installation video down in the description below, but I will also have a link for this screen protector down in the description below as well. For your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, don't forget to check out our sponsors of today's video, Ugreen, and pick yourself up a nice fast charger. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're not missing out on any other future videos to come. Thanks so much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.